Hello guys, welcome to Coding Technique. So those who do not know how to install Ionic can kindly visit this Ionic Framework Docs. This is for Ionic 5 applications and if you want to check out the docs for Ionic 3 then from here on you can move to Ionic Framework 3. But the installation process is the same. If you install it for Ionic 5 also, then it will work still for Ionic 3. And But for creating a project, the process is little different. For installation, you can follow all these steps. You first have to set up your environment, then the CLI installation has to be done. Once the CLI is installed directly, you can create a new project. Okay. Now similarly, once that is done, if you want to create an Ionic 3 project, then go to Intro, Installation, and out here, to create a project, you have to run this stuff, okay? This command you have to run. This is the project name, you can change it out as you like, okay? Here also, my app is the project name. So without wasting any further time, let's create our project. First of all, we'll create an Ionic 5 project, so let's do it. So let's open our command prompt. In our command prompt, I'll move to a folder called Ionic Projects, which I have created, in which I am going to create all my Ionic projects. Okay, so yeah, I have entered it up, then I'll run the command Ionic start. Okay, I'll just run this command only. This is Ionic 5, remember that. Now it will ask me which framework to use. I'll be using the Angular one. I will not use the react word. I am going to show how to how this works in Angular. Okay, so let's do it. And the project name, let's give it login screen. And these are the predefined templates which we can use. But I don't want to use any template, so I'll do it from the scratch. And so I'll select a blank project. Now this is asking me that if I want to integrate capacitor with my native iOS and Android, yes, I want to integrate, but that won't be of any use because we won't be using it in our login screen. But still, if uh, you want to run it in iOS or Android, definitely I will be using Capacitor. So I'm clicking yes. You can you can opt for no also. And after completing our login screen, if you want to use Capacitor, then there is command for that too. You can install it afterwards also. Okay. Well, this is a command which is being used to integrate capacitor in our application. You can run it afterwards also on your own. You just have to run npm i dash dash save and then this command. Okay. So our project is installed successfully. In order to run it up, let's uh, go inside our project folder. Okay. And run this command called ionic serve this will open up the project in the browser let's check it out so it is opening up now in the browser let's inspect it up because we want to see the seat in a mobile view so if we inspect it up and click on this it will turn into a mobile view and you can change the responsiveness from here okay so there we go we can see our project properly and this is a blank project which uh, has a predefined template little bit but we can we'll change it up right now so let's open it up in our visual studio code editor okay so in order to do that i'll open up my command prompt uh, okay, let's go to the folder where I've created the prompt. Okay, I'll open another command prompt because this is already running. And in that command prompt, I'm going to go to my project folder. Okay, project folder is login screen. And in that, I'll just simply type code space dot and if you want to install visual studio code if you haven't done it then you can do it from here simply go to the browser type visual studio code and 
from this link you can download it up it's free so don't worry about anything else you just simply download it up even both available for both mac users and windows users so yeah it is a pretty good editor and uh, has lot many plugins too uh, which are compatible with ionic react native flutter and I have even our backend uh, like node.js laravel even with php also it is compatible so it's compatible with all the coding uh, languages which we use so it's pretty much great to use okay so meanwhile our project is opened up in our visual studio code so let's do one thing i'll just cut all the command prompts and rerun our project from here how uh, in order to do that you can open up the terminal i'll simply use this shortcut okay and again i'm going to run and so so this is our source folder it has uh, an app folder within the app folder we have all the files for our app which are the main files one is the routing file which is the main file through which our routing is done then we have an html file which is redirecting to the particular page of the route this is the css file and out here we will write some code if required okay and this is the module file we initialize most of the thing out here and what we need to deal with is our home okay because this is the default one which is created and this is the design which is coming up out there okay when we have seen that it is showing blank as our header and all the details right so we need to edit this up we won't do much of the things we will just edit this up and work on it okay I'll simply use this one only okay, it's coming up so we have successfully completed the setup for this project and we are good to go so thank you guys